to date, my biggest record in the UK is uh, Love Can't Turn Around. And uh, it came together from, uh, once again, uh, it's crazy, it came together from an idea Steve Silk Hurley had. Farley was over at Jesse's place, and he said he had this idea. And so he couldn't execute that. When he knew that the three of us could. We brought in Dwayne to do the solo, the piano stuff on there. We brought in Vince, because Vince was like the lyricist on everything. Now this is how it started. My dream's all broken hearted because I want you. We'll never be the same because you play these silly games and yet I want you. We didn't have a lead vocalist. I had recently recorded a song with this guy, Daryl Pandy, a song called Climax that was on Ray Barney's Bright Star Records. And this guy was a motherfucker of a singer. And I had heard somewhere that he had played the Cowardly Lion in the local performance of The Wiz. And he's gay. So to us, it was like, we don't want to have anything to do with this guy, you know, because he's constantly telling us how he wants to try to get with us. He had a big bellowing voice, and he was very churchy, and we thought that the kids were into that spiritual shit, man. Motherfuckers yelling and screaming on the records, you know. So we thought that he would go over like gangbusters in the club. So we brought this guy in, and he sang the fuck out that tune. Now this is how it started. My dreams are broken hard, and yet I won't give. Baby, we'll never be the same Cause you play those silly games And yet I want you, girl Farley started playing a show on the radio And, you know, copies started flying out the door Record goes on the radio, blows up, huge, selling numbers But Love Can't Turn Around divided the friends who had created it just want everybody to keep calling your name Farley, Farley, you know, so it, it got a little bit out of hand at that time. Within 30 days, I'm in Rocky Jones' office, and he's cutting us a check for $20,000, $30,000. You know, and I'm sitting up thinking, I didn't expect anything out of this record, but <laughs> I'm making money. You know, you're working with your friends, and you think that, you know, I guess everybody do the right thing when somebody gets paid, you know, that everybody's sharing the wealth, but you come to find it. It's just not like that. I never got a friggin' penny. I don't think even Daryl got the money that he should have gotten. But it was the track that catapulted House into the UK. Went top ten in August 1986. I uh, played it at Heaven. I knew it was just going to tear the place up, and it did. And then I played it at the Mug Club, and it, likewise, same thing happened there. When I first started going clubbing, all the best clubs were gay, you know, and we would go down there and not pretend to be gay, but uh, certainly pretend not to be shocked at everyone else in there, just to go and hear the best music. 